let's not address the elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah. So, if you use Instagram, uh, you probably have seen one of these ads before. Well, you've seen ads on there in general, but one of these ads for this miracle foundation that they have that apparently can perfectly match your skin tone over the internet, which of course sounds intriguing, especially since they seem to have a very diverse range of foundation tones, but I've never actually seen an unpaid sponsorship for it. I'm sure there are some, but uh, I didn't bother to look because I wanted to film this. I figure I might as well try it, especially because I am a makeup artist, so I want to know if it can do special effects makeup as well as normal everyday makeup and see how it wears. So first things first is we're going to take their quiz and I'm going to show you me taking it. Um, their, I don't know how to say their name at all. So they've also started to advertise like concealers and other stuff for it. Um, but I'm not going to do any of that today. If you're interested, I'll try that, depending on how this goes. But uh, I'm going to focus on the foundation today, and I know that's not what they're advertising a lot right now, but uh, it took me this long to have enough money to buy it, because this shit is ridiculously expensive. I'm screen recording it on my phone, that's why I'm going to be looking down, and I'll put my answers here. So, uh, first thing it asks is what your skin type is. Fair. Um... I feel like I have pretty dry skin, even though I'm sweating right now because it's a million degrees in my house and the humidity is making my hair deflate. So I'm going to say dry, and then I'm going to go to the next. I want some full coverage because the special effects latex needs pretty high coverage. Um, I don't really care <laughs> about this at all. Uh, the next thing it's asking is what the finish I want is. I probably natural, I guess. I don't know. So then you choose things based on your skin tone, and this is apparently what's supposed to uh, shade match you really well. So you can't tell I'm very fair. Um, this light totally washes me out. I swear to god I'm not actually this pale. I am closer to this two color. Uh, but feel free to uh, roast me <laughs> for getting this wrong, I guess. So I think I'm closer to that one, I think I'm closer to that one. Uh, let's figure out your undertone. Um, I've been told I'm pretty pink. So let's go with that one. Uh, I know it's like a vein thing, hold on. Um, they are blue or purple. I do not actually burn that easily. Um, and I don't know about gold or silver jewelry versus on my skin. So I'm gonna go with yes. Uh, during this time of year, does your skin tone tend to get darker or lighter? Do you mean in the summer or when in... okay. I, I assume darker because it's summer. Um, slightly darker than that tone, probably. Uh, how do I apply it with a blender because I'm not a heathen? Uh, how do I prep it? Uh, primer and moisturizer, but it doesn't have that. Um, I'm gonna say pretty often, because, you know, I do stuff like that. What brand are you currently using? Shit, I don't remember. What are your biggest skin concerns? Um, acne, I guess, because I am teen. Cool with the teens. Um, skincare goals. Uh, I don't really care, I guess? Sure, whatever. Um, I don't really expect my foundation to fix any of this. Um, I use cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen, and lip balm. I use more than that, but that's the main shit. Um, I don't want it to give me skincare! Okay. I have a feeling they're gonna use this to sell me things, and I don't care. I don't want to pick an ant's eye cream. Sure, why not? Okay, so it wants you to put your email. I remember this from before because I have taken this before, so I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put not that email. Okay, so it says that my shade is 35. 
And another thing about this company is that they let you try it before you buy it and they sell it, send you a full bottle. Which I would hope they do because their foundation is 40 plus dollars. Now, I currently use this foundation and it's seven dollars. I think at my drugstore. I haven't bought it in a while which is why I'm doing this because I'm almost out. So, no, I do not want to get the concealer. I'm gonna buy this for the first time and I'm gonna tell you how much it is. Oh, do now. Okay, so it says do now. I just have to pay five dollars, but I know for the full bottle it's over forty dollars and I don't know how easy they're gonna make to return it. So if I end up returning it, I will also probably be covering that. If I don't return it, I'll probably still fake return it and then buy it again if it's really that good. So let's see. Apparently I'm also getting a gift. I hope the gift isn't regret. <laughs> Keep it for $45 plus $5 shipping. So this is a $50 foundation. I do not suggest any foundation that is over $20, but you know, it's fine. So I'm gonna put in all the information about this and I'll tell you when I buy it. So ordering that uh, took longer than expected, mostly because they tried to sell me 15 other things on the way out. Not really, they tried to sell me their mascara, their serum, and a couple other skincare things. So they do try to sell you stuff on your way out and none of it is under $20. So that $5 try fee ends up becoming more if you click any of those buttons and it doesn't exactly make it easy and you do have to go through all of those to get your order confirmation but I got my order number and I'll be back with some tests once I actually get it in the mail so uh, so the box came uh, it took about a week to get here I want to say it's it came two days ago but I haven't had time to film this um and I opened it but what came in it was a bunch of papers this was obviously packaged before and then this I left in the package it's uh it the free gift I was being sent and it is an eyeliner that I have not looked at so I'll pop that open, I guess. It's just a pen eyeliner that's really long. I usually use pen eyeliners like this, but they're usually shorter than this one. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try to do eyeliner with it, but that's obviously not what you're here for. This was the box that it came in and it popped open and it had been in here like this before. I opened it, but I didn't want to be sitting here for five minutes trying to get the pump to work, so I opened it and I already pumped a dollop, which does mean I've seen the color, but not on my face. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pin back my bangs, put on some primer, and the directions in here specifically say don't blend it in with your hands to judge the color. Well, when I put it on my hand, I did that and it looked not right. So I have a beauty blender and a brush, which I don't usually put on foundation with a brush, but we'll try that. I'm gonna turn down my light so it's a little less of a good quality camera, but you'll be able to see the color a little better. And we're just gonna do that. So this is the primer I'm using. It's the primer I've been using for everything lately. Face has primer on it. Now I'm gonna pump this onto a part of my hand that doesn't have eyeliner on it. I didn't think this through. It just looks really dark. And I know that I chose a couple options that were gonna make it darker. I thought I was being smart. I wasn't. So under the light, it doesn't look too bad. Everyone in the videos uses a brush though, so let me just, might have to. See, it's really dark on my hand. But also, I mean, I understand hands aren't actually the best swatches. See, it's pretty orange from there, but like back here it looks okay. 
So, you know, I might go look in the bathroom or somewhere with some more natural lighting because, you know, it doesn't look too bad here. Well, I feel like in real life it's going to look a little worse. So I might bring my camera into my bathroom. I also just feel like this side is going to be streaky as hell because I hate brushes. This side looks great on camera. I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but you know. I'll cut it some slack if it really looks that good in real life. So, in real life, my skin's a little orange, but it does blend to my neck pretty well. It's just definitely a darker color than I'd choose in real life by like two shades. As for the brush side, yes, it's just as shrieky as I thought it was gonna be based on that because I didn't have a real mirror. I am definitely giving some self-tanner vibes. It's not a perfect match like they claimed it would be. It's not bad foundation. It dried a little matte for my taste, especially with current trends. And it is just a little yellow, just pretty yellow. So they have a return policy. And since it's not perfect, I don't want to spend $50 on this. It looks good, but like, look at the line it creates. And in real life, it's a little more drastic. I wonder if I... Yeah, that's where you can see. Pretty good, you know, for an online test. I thought it was gonna be complete bullshit, but you know, it's pretty close. But it is definitely not my skin in a bottle like they claim it is. So, you know, I'm gonna see how easy it is to return it. If it's super hard, I guess I'll do a wear test with it to tell you how it wears. If not, then we're doing a review on how easy it is to exchange it for a slightly lighter shade. Here is how you can see it actually looked in real life. For some reason, it wouldn't show up while I was talking, but uh, once I took a photo or a video of it with my phone camera, you could see it was pretty orange in comparison to this, my skin to the point where my mother thought I had a spray tan. So yeah, I needed a different shade. But when I went to the website, they have the return policy on a piece of paper in the box, and it took me to this page, which let you either exchange it or return it. And it just asked a couple questions, as you can see here, and then it just said that, bam, they were sending me a new one, and I could, this was the part I wanted to highlight, keep the old one and give it to a friend and wouldn't be charged for it. So if I lose $100 out of my bank account for this experiment, I will lose my mind. So I just got home from work, so let's not talk about this, but it's come. So now I can actually properly unbox one and I'm filming this right now because I don't want to be tempted to open it before I can film again like I did last time. So I'm making sure to open it on camera this time. As you can see, the box is the same as before. Comes with a little confetti. Oh, this time it gave me actual full instructions on how to wear a full face of makeup. So, that's cute. No free gift this time, but we do have the box of foundation. And this is different. Last time it was one piece of tissue paper, now it's like confetti. So that's cool, I guess. So I think they have a couple wrapping styles is what I'm saying. This one is taped shut. This is also different from before. So as I said before, it popped open like this and we have, this is in shade 30. I don't know what shade the other one is. I'll put that up on screen right now. So um, let me open this and we'll see if it's any better. It is still so orange. Why? Well, you know, they just don't. You know, the spread on my fingers almost looks natural. The original bottle was 35 and then this bottle is 30. So I can't tell if you can tell there's a difference in the bottle. But they say they're different shades. And I mean, it doesn't look as badly orange as last time, but it's still not good. <laughs> 
So I actually thought this would be interesting. This is the foundation I choose for myself. And then this is the one they chose for me. Um, I'm not gonna mix them together to give it an accurate view because I know they're both very different, but like, they say to match your foundation to your neck, right? So obviously this one matches my neck better than this one. So that's a pretty good test, I feel like, of if their color quiz worked really well. And now, in fairness, I understand that maybe I boned that color quiz by choosing one slightly darker person while I'm a little pink rat, but I mean, I feel like that shouldn't skew the results so badly that it's that, you know, but maybe I'm wrong. You can take this how you will. Plus, my skin looks hideous in this lighting. I feel like I'd be less nervous if they'd just let me send the damn things back so I could claim that, you know, I wasn't just hoarding these. Voice over Kai back. Um, I went to see if I could get a third bottle of foundation, hopefully matching my skin tone this time because it's literally the only thing they advertise. And uh, upon looking into it, they don't even give me the option to return this second bottle. So I'm getting charged regardless, apparently. Um, and the foundation doesn't match my skin. So I shot customer service an email and I'm waiting to see if they get back to me on that. But if not, I guess I'm just going to do a wear test with this foundation that doesn't match my skin. So the last bottle that I'm ordering finally came and it looks way closer to my skin tone so that's something i'm gonna cosplay sal fisher from sally face right now and since he has um special effects on his face we are gonna test how this works over latex and its coverage for special effects makeup in general and then the next costume i'm gonna do is just gonna test its wearability and it's how long it'll last that's really it. So I'm gonna put the prosthetics on and then I'll come back and show me actually putting the foundation over them to match my skin. We've got the prosthetics on. I'm just gross. Here's the foundation. And I'm gonna start hopefully covering this latex that doesn't match my skin tone to this foundation that probably kind of does. I mean, it's pretty close just from the look of it. It's definitely better than the other mashes. And you know what? It is covering it, but like one or the three pumps got a lot of that latex covered. So I'm gonna do the other side, which is a little less rough with just two pumps, I think. So this is what the foundation alone looks like on my face with the latex. I mean, it covered it pretty well and it's drying nicely. It's a little dry on my nose area and still kind of wet right here. But you know, it's not the worst coverage, though I'm not sure I would pay $55 for it otherwise, you know? But it matches my skin pretty well. This is not a great example, hold on. It matches my skin pretty well. It helps blend the latex in, but I still feel like I like my usual foundation a little better because you can definitely see it's stuck to some of the latex seams and it's not exactly seamless though some of that obviously is my blending and it's just bound to happen when you're building stuff up like this uh but yeah like right here there shouldn't be a seam like that but once i put on concealer hopefully it'll be okay i do wonder how their concealer would fail fare with this but Obviously, that's not something I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go finish my makeup and we'll check in after I take photos and see how it held up. We. So, it turned out pretty good looking. I'm gonna take this off so we can assess. The foundation ended up being a little orange around the framing of my face, I feel like. 
but concealer kind of covered it up. And when I did my full face, you kind of can't really tell the foundations how it is, but it did stick weirdly to a lot of the latex, and it probably isn't out advisable to be used this way. I just, I don't think it's the best foundation to cover latex, but really none of them are. So, I don't know, I wouldn't suggest it for this. Like, I think you could probably find a cheaper alternative that's gonna act the same way. For, you know, foundations, it worked about as well as pretty much could have asked for it to. I'm trying to see if I could like, show you this is the true color of my latex is this like orange color but when you flip it around this is the color it changed it to which was closer to my skin tone so you know did what it had to but yeah so i guess we'll see how it fares on normal skin since that's probably gonna be a much fairer test for it and we'll see ow Okay, let's not talk about how this is gonna keep happening. Um, obviously, I'm doing Bev, hence this all being here because I wasn't gonna put it up after I did the makeup. What do I look like as I go? So, we're gonna test this with both a brush and a sponge. I don't like using a brush for my makeup, but you know, it's one of the options and everyone in their ads uses a brush. So I went out and bought this little foundation brush. So put some on my hand. Let's go on with the brush first. I swear to God, balloon. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's satisfying. I don't like blending stuff out with a brush. I feel like it looks streaky and it absorbs so much for what we're doing, but you know, I figured We're doing it anyway. Yeah, it's streaky and gross. Who would have guessed dollar store foundation brush wasn't the best move. But we're not doing that. Doing three pumps on my hand. We're going with the sponge. I mean, it's a better match than the last time. Do I think it's my skin in a bottle or whatever? No. And this time, I had to send our HR department literally a photo of my face. And I did it you know, in this exact lighting. So the fact that it's still not like 100%, I feel like it's already sort of failed its mission. I think it looks fine. Like it doesn't look perfect, but yeah, it's foundation. It's not gonna look 100% fine. Or it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like you have foundation on. It's just not advertised that way, obviously. So, you know, it works. I don't know how it's gonna oxidize. That's basically what I'm testing right now because we already knew it basically matched my face yesterday. It says it's full coverage and that it doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, I don't mind the texture of it. It feels fine. I remember yesterday it dried down fine too. Um, stays wet enough that you can work with it, but also like dries down enough. I don't think it transfers too badly. It looks fine. Do I think their quiz worked super great? No, but I also didn't do it very super great. So take that with a grain of salt. This has still sort of an orangey tinge to it. And I know it kind of oxidized yesterday a little bit around the sides of my face. So we're gonna see how bad that is when it's all over my face and it's gonna be pretty noticeable. Will I have to edit these photos to make me look less orange? It's possible. But you know, this is to what it looks like just on my face. I don't, this is basically what you came here to see. You know, it's, it's on there. The fact that they make it so hard to just buy the thing, you have to go through like seven pages. I don't know if it's worth it. 
maybe I'll change my mind after I have my full face makeup on, but it just feels like any other foundation. I don't know if it's worth 50 bucks. The trial period thing is probably cool, and based on their HR team, I think it would be pretty easy to send it back, but I'm not gonna be able to send this one back just because of every other part of this video and how many times I had to try and actually get my skin tone. Regardless, I'll probably use this foundation because I think it's perfectly fine. I just don't think it's spectacular, that's all. So I finished up my makeup. This is how she turned out. It oxidized a little bit and it did dry very dry on my skin. So if you have dry skin, maybe I wouldn't suggest it because I put on there that I have combination skin, which I do, and it's pretty dry. I primed with e.l.f. primer and moisturizer and it's still like a little tacky. But you know, it's pretty, it's dry enough that I can't like smudge it off too easy. And it's, it's good. It's, it's good foundation. It oxidized a little orange on my skin, so keep that in mind if you're pretty pale. And it's dry, but if you have oily skin and you don't mind paying $50, Go for it. But I also think you could probably dupe this stuff and shade match yourself better in person. Just go to a store where social distancing is safe or you can do something like that. Or if you're watching this in the future and that's not even a problem, it, it, cool. <laughs> With this, very clearly you are paying for the luxury of not having to test things and not having to do that. But I also think that, especially with people who are doing makeup on themselves, it's probably better if you don't have the money to do that, to learn that skill, especially if you're paying a lot of money at the beginning for a foundation like this. All I'm saying is do what you want with your money, I wouldn't buy this again. That is the point of that spiel. Um, the answer is, I had low expectations and they were basically met. It's a foundation, it covers the redness of my skin and evens the tone of it so I can put on makeup. It's not terrible over latex, but I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, and yeah, it, it. this is about as well as anyone could have really expected it to go. It's foundation, it's really not a make or break makeup step. If you want some better advice, I would say literally if you're just getting into makeup, start with all drugstore makeup, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that is low enough in cost that you can experiment with it and do a couple different tests, see what you like, all that, especially if you're just getting into cosplay or something like that, because that's why I assume you're here. But, you know, um, if you're really that enticed by the quiz, maybe give their free trial a go. I just, I wouldn't see spending $50 being worth it. Really, I'm just here to say, you know, it oxidizes, it's dry, but if those are things that you are okay with in foundation, that's the review, perfect, 100%. Go live your life. I've been Kai, and I hope your day gets better from here. Bye.